All right, cool. Uh, user is already uh, mentioning that it's 30 minutes already. Yeah, thanks everyone <laughs> for joining. We have uh, 19 people in the audience. We have our team here. We also have uh, one of our mods joining today. And uh, we have hit a pretty big milestone. Uh, we have 10K members on our Discord server, which is pretty cool. Okay. And <laughs> yeah, uh, we've been watching like the number slowly like going up and we finally hit it. So thanks to you guys, we've been able to hit that. And, um, you know, here's to just forging a super strong community together. And yeah, uh, everyone in stream who is joining in audience will get access to Rosebud right away uh, just by being active in chat. So uh, go ahead and introduce yourself in chat. Say hello, hi, um, uh, spam some emojis. Basically everything goes and you will get access right away. Hey, a lot of people are joining. I used to like announce every username joining, but now I can't. Uh, well, yeah, thanks, thanks everyone. Our mods are also going to help us out. The chat is going really quick. Uh, Jason, you can share uh, the presentation that we've prepared. Uh, basically, oh, actually, before that, a real quick announcement. Um, R9 um, has uh, been really active in our Discord and he has started this initiative. He basically uh, created a community game jam that everyone can participate in. Uh, so R9, if you can just drop in the itch link and then later we'll also drop that in our beta testing channel for everyone to see. Uh, sure. Uh, right, cool. Let me find it. Nice. Awesome. Uh, Jason, feel free to share your screen. All right. Awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, everyone. Thanks for being active in chat. Eve, Daredevil, Butter King, 666. Uh, Yasin, Adam, I think I've seen a lot of you in chatting, so it's really nice for you to join today. Um, cool, cool. Hey, everyone. All right. So as I've said, and I think we've mentioned that in the announcement, uh, today we want to showcase all of the amazing games that our beta testers have been creating in Rosebud. Um, you'll be able to uh, see all of the games that we're showcasing right now in the special channel called Game Showcase under AI Text to Game like tab. Uh, and I think we will share this presentation as well after if you just prefer to click through through it. Also, if you just go to play.rosebud.ai, you will be able to see all of the trending projects and um, you'll be able to play them right away. And when you get access, you'll be also able to clone and mod them and basically, yeah, collaborate and create your own um, games yourself. Nice. All right. Uh, yeah, Jason, take it away. Let's go to our first uh, showcase and show the game by our beta tester. All right. Okay. So the first game we have is by Yacht the Bug. It's Missile Deflector. Let me go actually hold on. All right. Um, uh, yeah, right Jason, now. feel free to follow the link and announce um, the user who created this. Yes, it is Yug the Bug. I don't know if I should do it in uh, chat. Jason, or... I think we cannot hear you. Can you hear Jason, guys? Can, every, can no. anyone hear me? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. no, I can. I can hear him. No? All right. Um, as Jason fixes that, yeah, this sure. is. Hello. Oh, oh I, we can hear you. Can oh, hear sorry. You. Okay, sorry about that. I was saying that this is by oh. Yog the Bug. If everybody can see here, I don't know if I should put it in chat. Yes. Also, yeah. I okay. So I headed over to the link. I'll quickly go over to Discord. There you go. Nice. I'll put that. So no worries. Okay, Just sure. Go ahead. All right. Okay, so I head over to the game inside this game. Let me refresh the page. As long as it's working. Hold on. Yes, there you go. So, missiles start getting fired at you, and you have to move this little shield here around to make sure you don't get hit. Cool. I've said, like, in, in the comments that this... I think he updated the 
the missiles like before they look like bacteria maybe yes. <laughs> it's because of my comment i hope not <laughs> that's cool <laughs> Nice. Uh, this one, and I think is without music, right? Without any sound. Yes, I, I don't think it has sound. All yes. right, everyone in chat. Um, Roberto has been giving access to everyone who has been active so far. So go check your DMs for instructions how to get access to Rosebud right away, and go ahead and just you know get into it and start testing and leave your feedback live here. So we can see and we can, you know, um, yeah, uh, just help you out. Yes. Cool. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Speaking of shit, I think the Discord uh, logo looks like uh, Mickey Mouse pants. Mm, that's fair <laughs> game, though, right? Right now, like, uh, Mickey Mouse is out of um, the, like, copyright yeah, yeah. protection. Yeah. Uh, yeah, everyone who is becoming a better tester, feel free to make a Mickey Mouse game. <laughs> Fair game. Uh, cool, yeah, we can move on to the next game, Jason. Okay. Um, Aguilar is saying custom assets for the missiles would make this game look much better. Yeah, do agree with that. Uh, Daredevil, yeah, every game here is made on Rosebud. Yes. Okay, so uh, Magic Delivery is saying, oh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Oh, sorry, we'll okay. Chat after. All right, so the next two projects are by uh, Laughing Mad 77 on Discord. I mean, Friday, I can't shout them out. We have uh, Astro Jet and Spacer Boy. All right, oh, so, I love these ones. Yes, they're very good. Yeah, I'll start off with believe, Astro Jetpack. There we go. All right, so in this game, pretty much, it's kind of, it's kind of like Jetpack, right? Oh, sorry. Let me, I did, I died. Oh, okay, let me do that again. Awesome. So you have to make sure you don't get hit by any of the enemies, and as you go on, it gets quite difficult. Mm -hmm. You also have to try and collect these coins. Nice. I love, like, how the background moves mm. smoothly. Mm. It's really cool. Does it have sound? I, I don't believe it does. I don't have anything right now. All right. Uh, I'm just reading some of the comments then right now um, that are related to this game. Mm -hmm. uh, JP is saying, I was playing it before. Love how it bounces when he lands. Yeah. Huh, let's, let's actually try that. Does it? Yeah, it does. Huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really smooth. Yeah, I do agree. That's cool. Is that the music for it? No, <laughs> that's stream <laughs> music. Oh, that's okay, it. I was playing matches, yeah. Hi, Peter, thanks for joining us. Cool. Uh, Peter, by the way, we can invite you to speak on stage as well, if you'd like. Uh, we'll just, you know, bring you here, but, you know, feel free to... Huh, let's see. Mm -hmm. I cannot see you for some reason. Yeah, yeah, oh. Nice. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah. Go. Let's go to the next one. Was sure. Okay. So, and the next one over here. Let me quickly get that link. A spacer boy. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you can think of this a bit like this. It's a space shooter. So these guys are coming for you from the front, and they have to make sure you don't get shot and try to shoot back. Nice. And this is great too. Thanks. Thanks to the. To, oh, Oh boy. Thanks to the the pallets on the back. It makes you feel like you're going super fast. <laughs> this one is super nostalgic. I love the um, you know the like typography on this, like Spacer Boy. Mm. It just brings so much I don't know, it makes it so re more refined. Yeah, it has like a very cohesive style. Nice. Yeah, everyone new in chat, just say hi, introduce yourself, and you're going to get access to Rosebud right away. Right now, we're showcasing games by our amazing beta testers. Um, everything you see is 100% uh, created on Rosebud, and we have all of the links for you in game uh, and in game showcase channel. So you can go ahead there and just click through and play this right away. 
I, people are getting access. So everyone in chat who has the purple username is already uh, testing Rosebud. So thank you so much. Welcome. Go ahead and test it. We're waiting for everyone to get access. So ideally, everyone in the audience, 42 people should get access to Rosebud right now. So just go ahead and write in chat. I know Robert is trying his hardest like to make sure that everyone <laughs> yes. is getting the access. So yes. keep yeah, spamming, yeah. <laughs> making, he, making his job harder. All right. Cool. Um, we can go ahead to the next one. This one was by Laughing Man as well, right? Yes, it was. Okay. Okay, so next one is Playground by N.Y. NY, NY Valhen. I don't know how to pronounce it. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so I'll start that now. And this this one's cool because it's like kind of like multiple games in the same project. Oh mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. This one is pretty insane. Mm. Yes. Okay. So you can kind of start. You choose which game you want to start with. So we, let's say you want to start with Pong. We choose a difficulty. Yeah. The, we, uh, the legendary and hard difficulty are pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, this one has sound. I'll just yes. mute yes. my own. Okay, sure. I don't know if it's too loud, but... No, I think it's not. Okay. I love it. Awesome. That has some pretty cool sound effects. Nice. I love this, like, the bong sound. Basically. Yes. <laughs> it's very cool. Yes, and if we, fine. If, if we go back to... Like I see hard difficulty. Oh. The the um, the phone has like a like a curved hit hit hit. Mm. <laughs> it's very hard to block it when it does that. Cool. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, super cool. And also, we have the second game in the project, which is Flappy Bird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds here. Pretty cool. Too. Yes. You have to make sure I don't Ooh. lose instantly. <laughs> oh, nice. Go, 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 Jason. <laughs> <laughs> it's like live. Speech. You're doing it. <laughs> oh. So much pressure. <laughs> Yeah, this is a stressful game. <laughs> yeah. Especially live. <laughs> yeah, but, but this is super cool. You guys have to. Yeah. Sorry. Like, you know, I was saying you have to like fireballs for the pipes. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Way more higher stakes. And then you just. <laughs> yes. Uh, the fireball animations was an you know, additional thing to add to that. Exactly. Nice. Uh, Butter King sixty six is asking: Is it possible to start from scratch, or do you need to use one of the preset models? Um, so basically, you can start from scratch by using our two D playground that runs on Phaser. So when you get access, you'll see that. Uh, Frank is bored. You should check DMs. Uh, the access is being run through DMs um, via our Zapier bo uh, bot. So. Nice. Uh, cool. Yeah, we can go ahead to the next one. All right. Nosferatus is asking how long does it um, take to, to make a game game like this? Um, not sure for these specific creators, but we have been doing like our very first um, hackathon internally. We, I guess we spent three hours to make like prototype games. I uh, would say that, you know, it depends on your own ambition and how you speak and like how you collaborate with AI um, assistant. But I think, yeah, yeah. Users have been saying like five hours for most of these games, mm -hmm. uh, at least. Cool. Okay. Oh, this is by Gadget yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so yeah, this is built along by Gadget KK. Let me head over there. All right, so we pretty much have to get these tracks here to kind of move the blocks around so you can make a path because you have to get something mm -hmm. from this pipe to this pipe over here 
and you're trying to get the least amount of moves possible. Yeah, I think you you showed that during our last stream, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, and I got a very I high number. I think that's okay. We, we don't have to. Yeah, we don't have to go over all of this again. But yes, we don't. Yeah, that's a really cool like puzzle game. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think I got like a. I'll shout out that gadget game. Oh sure, awesome. Okay. So yeah, so if 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 people already see it, we can move on. Nice. Okay. All right. Yeah. Cool. Okay. The next one is Oink by Zap One Two Three Four Four. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes, this was super funny. <laughs> All right, attention everyone. This is a very, very important case. <laughs> right, so... Oh, oh, yeah, Zap123 is here. Oh, awesome. Everyone should spam a pig emoji Oink. in chat, and only those who spam it will get access. <laughs> Oink. Go, go, go. Oink. Oink. <laughs> Oink. <laughs> Point. Nice. <laughs> this should Point. be a default sound. <laughs> Point. Point. Because he recorded the soundtrack for himself. Point. Great. Point. No, I see Brady. You. This is a dog emoji. This one. Too. Point. <laughs> Point. Point. Cool. <laughs> We should make this. I did I say it? it probably wasn't the mind. We should make this a default sound, definitely. Just yeah, no, there, yeah. <laughs> put it anywhere you like. Yes. Cool. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay. Next, we have first game ever, also by Zap123. Oh, yeah. Uh, wait. Cool, cool. Let me shout out Zap again. Uh, Zap, actually, uh, if you can speak, would love you to comment um, on your games. Mm. So we will invite you if you can, you know, no pressure. You can just comment uh, a couple of things. Can you hear me? Hey, yeah, 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 we can hear you. Hi, hey. hello, everyone. I just did the one oh, with the pig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I was like. I was thinking, like, because you did with the pig, yeah. Uh, Jason, I yeah. think we should. Uh, uh, I'll take a look real quick, but we can get your comments on the pig one. What inspired you? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, I guess I was just uh, play around with the tool, and start modifying the phaser one, and I start saying, oh, let's uh, do some image with the eye. And I come up mm. with some happy animals. He decided to do a pig. And then I said, ah, let's try to switch with the pig. And one thing came out of another. And then uh, this one, <laughs> I needed uh, some sound. I decided to use the text to speak. And uh, uh -huh. I just put oink and it sounded funny. I also wanted some funny jokes on, on the bottom. I also asked for the eyes mm. and some funny jokes. And one thing after another. And, this new genre, <laughs> not the life. <laughs> <laughs> How long cool. did you spend on, on this? Sorry, what's the question? Because I didn't hear. Oh, um, How long did you say? I think you. you uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Long. about three or four hours. I read the news, like the news. I tried to play around to, during the afternoon and then on the. Morning, uh, I just polish it a little bit, about three, four hours. Jason, you should go back to the to the pig game again. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> to to kind of make sure that everyone um, puts the name to the game. Cool. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, Zach thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Uh, thanks thank for you. Yeah, feel free to stay here. Like, hang yeah, on. Yeah, sure. Go. Nice. Really? All right. Yeah, cool. Uh, Nice. The next one, I let me quickly check the correct attribution so um, we can make sure to shout out the right user. Again, apologies for this. Um, also, did they have the wrong user on that? Was, 
Yes, uh, the username was Siberius. Mm. I'll uh, shout her out as well okay, in sure. chat. Thanks for Lama. Nice. Oh, Lama Rama. All right. This was a crowd pleaser. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let me shout out to Rello made this game. Yes, this is uh, this game was by Trello. This is, yeah, awesome. If you could, oh, okay, you can explode <laughs> your, your lavas into. Oh, okay, I, I took too long to explode them. You have to explode <laughs> them before it's too late. Okay. So I'll refresh the page. Nice. Um, we got type of things. We got family then for our and their toilets. But also, like, we've already shared that you can, you know, when you will get access to Rosebud, which you should just chat in, basically you say anything in chat, you'll get access. You can clone this game and replace llamas for anything you like. Um, it's been really cool replacing even with, like, people. But that's, like, your preference. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Oh, we, we've got the creator, Torella, in the audience. So, um, mm. Torella, hi. We will invite you to speak, but, you know, no pressure if you can... Uh, maybe comment a couple of things. Hey, hi, Torello. Hello. Hey. How's everyone? Nice. Thanks for joining. Yes, We're thanks. showcasing your game. Maybe uh, yeah. you can share a couple of words. Uh, it's yeah. ridiculous. It's <laughs> might be one of the silliest things I've ever made. Um, <laughs> so I, I, come, I come from feature animation. I've worked in features for yeah. 15 years. Um, nice. And you've seen how the industry is moving towards AI. Uh, <laughs> me and my friend Dylan Lee have been really looking into it and seeing what's out there, and we stumbled across Rosebud. And it's really, I mean, it's democratizing everything. Like, the fact that I could create this game, most of it I did um, with my girlfriend getting a pedicure. <laughs> Just sitting there making, <laughs> making silly this stuff. This is great. Is, I don't normally make llama games or get pedicures, so uh, it was hilarious. Um, but now, actually today, I was sitting there and figuring out a few more things and, Mm. music in there as well, which is all AI generated. Mm. Um, so yeah, really, really fun. Um, but for me, the big thing that I want to see out of Rosebud is seeing you guys do with the 3D engines, because I could get some things in there, like GLB files with animations and stuff like that. Because once I can once I can generate all that stuff, we can get the back end of the game um, systems working and then fill it with really high-end animation. I think we can get some cool stuff quick. Nice, um, nice. Anyway, that's me. But yeah, in terms of the llamas, I mean, if you guys, it's all very simple, but uh, I want to get <laughs> Yeah, it is like one of those games, like like super simple, but just so addictive. Mm. And getting <laughs> game over like that, like on the whole screen is just like super nice touch too. Yeah, I think, yeah, it is like a super dramatic game over sound. Oh yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. <laughs> or like do text to speech like llama noises, right? Oh, yes. As uh, <laughs> Zap One Two Three did. Yeah. Oink. <laughs> what do llamas say anyway? So. <laughs> I yeah, I've been, I've been using Suno a lot to generate um, music. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And some, sometimes it just talks. Uh, there was one I was doing mm. yesterday, and the, the guy was just saying the lyrics and breathing, and it's all getting very scary. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, maybe, maybe I can make llama noises in there. Yes. Oh, thanks a, so much. Yeah. Really, yeah. Actually, oh, yeah, a, go ahead. a variation of your game. Uh, I, I cloned it. I thought it was really fun. And then I was like, maybe I can add my friend's face instead of the llama. <laughs> I, have a, I have the example. I don't know yeah. if I want to share that. Just like for a if second. your friend is okay, I mean. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't <laughs> mind. Yeah. All right. You can drop that in chat and um, yeah, Jason can pull that up. Back, but, um, drop it inside. Yeah. Yeah. You dropped it in Slack. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, I dropped it in content. If you want. Okay, sure. Yeah, nice. Yeah, um, thanks to Rello for just encouraging words. Really nice to hear. Super inspired by what you've shared. Yeah, hang around yeah, with okay. us. We'll yeah, we'll show more games by um, our amazing beta testers, and some of them we're also going to invite them to speak and share. <laughs> <laughs> 
Incredible. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, guys. Get your gears turning. Everyone is getting <laughs> access in chat. Yeah. None of our friends are safe either. at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> moment of fame. <laughs> yeah. yeah I mean, these, are, these are the type of things you can do as well. Like if you find a game that you really <laughs> like and you don't want to spend too much time on the logic, you can just change the pictures and send it to your friend as like a gag gift or like a... Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's your face. You share with all your friends. Oh my god. Nice. That's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, cool. Thanks, thanks, <laughs> thanks again, Torello. Yes, thank That's you. For one. Your colleague. The next hey. one. <laughs> oh my god. Kinda wanna yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a popular one to clone. <laughs> And just a really quick comment as well, like we're tracking everyone's, you know, attribution and everything. You'll be able to see um all of the ev evolutions of your own game that you've created by other users. And yeah, you'll be able to track down the original as well. Cool. Mm. All right. So next one's actually, oh, it's, a, it's one of the Laughing Man projects I did not group with the other ones. Oh, nice. One, all right. X. I think we've got Laughing Man in the audience as well. So. Yes. I think I've invited to speak, but yeah, feel free to comment. Uh, shouting you out. Hey. Uh, hey. Sure. Can you hear me? Hey. Yes. Oh, cool. I, I wasn't sure my mic would work, but apparently Yeah, we does. can hear you all right. Um, cool, cool. Hey, uh, hey everyone. Um, I'm on a coffee break, so I'm going to drop in maybe like four minutes. But I uh, oh, really no wanted to just appreciate your work on this uh you know the platform it's, it's pretty good i jumped onto it one day and i think i just sat for like six eight hours continue well not continuously but you know just tinkering with things and and i think it's called space Boy. um that was also a shoot them up i, I just love yeah we showed it previously yeah yeah <laughs> yes. yeah so really cool. I, I just sat and kept coding away and I was like blown away with the capabilities that the AI had. Like, I think the way it can understand what I need to do. Um, one thing I found helpful for myself was just breaking the uh, what the functionality I need into like very small chunks. So maybe one line or two lines explaining what I want added or the functions that I want in the game. It would do that and then I would uh, add on a function on top of that or add on a capability on top of that. And that worked really mm. well for me mm. um this one is yeah i think this project became so big that now the model is not kind of it's how it's struggling to get the full context mm. um mm -hmm. I, I spent a lot of time on this but the cool thing about this one i'll i'll call out i used to instruct the model to do something and then i would walk off and do something else like i would make lunch or coffee or something come back give it another line walk mm. off <laughs> Yeah, that was pretty much how this one came about, like apart from like some of the initial, you know, graphic setup and stuff. Hmm. A lot of this was like, give it an instruction, forget about it, come back after like 15 minutes and do something else kind of thing. So it was a lot of fun. Mm. Nice. Well, that's cool. Yeah, thank you so much for sharing that. Yeah, I love you, man. That's amazing. Yeah. Nice. Think, man, it's definitely one of, one of our Hall of Fame. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> for you. sure, for sure. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks so yeah. much, Laughing Man. Thanks for joining, despite yes. of your like short coffee break. I know. Break. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Stopping and, by. Yeah. Nice to have yeah, you. Yeah. Been yeah. around. Yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Nice. Setting the bar high for our own creating games. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes, I think it was already pretty high for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. This is Peter. Peter's in the audience as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, Peter, if you can talk, uh, feel free to chime in. Yeah, absolutely. I am here. Hey. hey. Hi, nice to hear you. It's cool. not, it's, well, I guess I've heard you guys before, but it's nice to actually chat yes. with you. So. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah, share a couple. 
couple of comments, like how did you came up with this? And I think you were the first person to integrate like text to speech, like here, like if uh, I was to yeah. cover <laughs> how you did it. Yes. <laughs> that's, 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 the that's kernel and cool. saving. I love, I, I absolutely love what you guys have created. It's, it's it, like, I, I think I spent the first three days pretty much glued to the, the computer. Like at, once I got access and I, th I think I did like five games in that, but it was like, I, I just kind of like took pieces of each one and built upon it. Um, this one, the Star Trek X, like I wanted the player to be able to actually make decisions as a as whatever they wanted to be in the star trek universe and like mm. created the perfect platform to do that with generative ai speaking as uh you know as 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 your npc assistant i guess uh in this game so essentially um i gave it its own knowledge base about the worlds uh and it randomly starts um a scenario when you when you sign in uh and then from there you build it out however you want to build it out because you're the one leading the leading the charge from there mm. nice this is really oh, cool. then i added a journal function because i realized that the project got too big and if you go on for too long and this is still an ongoing issue with it um mm -hmm. but uh if you go on for too long it does kind of forget itself mm -hmm. uh and and the text will stop so I added a journal function so that you can literally just copy and paste and be plopped right back into the same world. It's an arbitrary save system. Wow. Yeah, by the way, we've been super inspired by your, you know, save and load feature that you did early. And we worked on this on our own, too. And I think, Jason, maybe you can share. I mean, just say <laughs> that you've Jason got it progress. working. I'm all ears because I, I yes, took his notes yes. and I was like, I, I'm still confounded by it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so are, Jason, just so we, today, are, I think, yeah. Exactly, yeah, we were inspired by the project. We kind of saw that it's very clear that we need to have a ready-to-go save feature. So we just added it today. It's pretty much auto save now, so we'll probably add it as the to, to the main template, so when you make a new project, you can see it. But pretty much oh, now, I'm so excited yeah, about when, that. When you add anything yes. to the chat, it'll just be saved in the chat log now. So you'll, even if you press the page or leave, You'll still have your chat. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. All right, yeah, I'm really excited about that. That's going to open up a whole world of of, of some stuff because yes. the, the, the largest the largest thing is, is just large format games, right? Like adding in more functionality because I have, I want to add in, there's an inventory system that y'all don't even know about in this game that if you uh, ask for, a, like basically you type in the, the um, show me what, like tell me what the scene is. If there is an object in that scene and you say take that object, it will actually add that to your inventory. But then I couldn't get the inventory to be called, right? So the, that mm -hmm. that was the only issue. But um, yeah, I mean, if that's if that's implemented now, that's gonna crack it wide open. Right. That's really cool. Yeah, yeah. We should definitely think how we can make that and. It's just having an inventory. I think one of the users also, like, they at least, like, implemented, I think it's Roro Tuck, they implemented, like, coffee, like, item on the table, and you can, like, click it and sort of, like... Oh, wow, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's vibing in the direction of the inventory, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, Jason, I think I the think sound is loud, if you can turn off the sound for the tab. Yeah, sounds good, yeah, it is a bit loud. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that was the All other right. thing I forgot to do. You guys, you, you guys beat me there. You added, you added <laughs> yeah, a the way to turn off the music. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is one of the earliest iterations. Yeah. So, all right, that was super cool, Peter. Thank you so much for sharing. And yeah, feel free to continue and just please do continue invent new things into this um, template. Yeah, for everyone to use. It will be so cool. I'm definitely going to be working on a 2D game, and I have one that I actually just published, I believe, today, called um, Fair, uh, Ta Tales from Fair Crossing, and it's uh, oh. it's actually an amalgamation. We're with the my, my wife and I are with the ARF, um, which is the Appalachian Renaissance Fair here in Tennessee, mm -hmm. and so nice. I actually created the the fair within all of our characters within the the thing, and you can speak to the Duchess of the fair for information about the story. Anyway, I'll, I'll leave oh, it at that. So cool. well, we, we should go but check thank it you out. so yeah, much yeah. for what y'all do. <laughs> nice, nice teaser. <laughs> All right. Is, thank is you. The project, is the project ready to showcase or is it still early for us? 
Uh, yeah, no, I believe it's actually it's it's ready. It's implemented with journal function and all that stuff. Um, it should just be on the. I, I can drop a, a link if you want. Yes. Oh, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Cool. This is so cool. All right, everyone new in chat, we're showcasing um, games by our beta testers, and we're inviting them to speak uh, and share a couple of things about their game development process with Rosebud. Hello. So, hey, hi, Rorotak. I think we're showcasing your game just like in a couple of games after this yeah. one. So super nice to have you here. Yeah, I, th I think it's like really cool. Uh, like, so one of my friends or my cousin, he was, uh, I think, getting into Scratch and he was showing uh -huh. off a bunch of his games. I'm like, oh, and I'm like, I, I can make a game faster. And he was like, no, you can't. I'm like, yes, I can. Okay, <laughs> then, then, make, then make a cookie clicker game. Like, okay. So I'm like, okay, make this, make this. And like, oh, look, there it is. And he's like, no, you didn't make that. I'm like, yes, I did. And like, oh, <laughs> I can make it faster. I'm like, can Scratch make 3D games? And he was like, uh, yeah, it, well, it takes a little bit. I'm like, well, this, this game, it's like, it takes like two seconds to make a 3D game. And I, and I showed him, like, wait, what? It's amazing. I'm like, then, yeah, it's all, a lot of fun. I really like uh, working with AI because I, I don't really know anything about uh, game making or anything about coding. Like, I, I'm trying to do a coding class, but it's just mm -hmm. stuff, nerd stuff to me. So, um, oh my God. <laughs> This yeah. is so nice. Like, I, I work yeah, with yeah. a bunch of like really cool AIs. Like, uh, I work with a really, really. It's kind of scary. It's it can find your location using your photos, but not using any metadata at all. It's like really scary. Oh my god! You're talking about other tools, just to yeah, <laughs> just so I, everyone. I work knows. With a, yeah, I'm working <laughs> with a bunch of tools. I work like behind the scenes, a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Rorotak yeah. made so, the sorry, mean grandma down. game. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, um, so let's it's, get like, your it's comments. like AI GeoGuessr, yeah. It's like AI GeoGuessr, but it's, it can, so it's basically <laughs> trained off of like every single thing. So like it's trained off grass, soil, sky, trees, buildings. So it can see like a building and be like, oh, that building is unique in San Francisco. And look, that grass is native over here. Okay, and it, and it guesses thinking, hmm. Maybe it was taken over here. Like it, it's good at getting the city and country, but not the coordinates. It's always off, but it's getting better and better. Mm. Oh, but yeah. All right. Then what do you do? You plan to implement something like that, like with your game making in Rosebud? What about the mean grandma? What is? Oh yeah, mean what's grandma. The story so, behind yeah. that. Yeah. So the prompt I made for this. So it took me a long time. So the the original prompt uh, I made was a, made it was a long time ago. I had to change it a bunch of times, but it was originally called Opposite Bot, where it was just basically a jailbreak for ChatGPT, where it would spread misinformation <laughs> to be a jerk. And I, I just I just copied and pasted it and put it into there, and it just said, "Act like a grandma." So, All right. <laughs> <laughs> grandma. It was like, okay, sure. And it's just yeah, and it's just supposed to be a mean grandma. I just made it for fun because I. It's really new to the website, and I just didn't, didn't know what to make, so I just did the character AI thing. Nice. Just did that. Mm. That's cool. That's really yeah. nice. I already said like I'm just like I love the uh, like coffee mug and how you can move. I think like we just haven't seen that in other templates featuring characters. Yeah. So that's really nice. Uh, you know, props to you for that. Cool. Yeah, yeah. The slurp. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it disappears. Yeah, right, it does. Something three sips. <laughs> <laughs> All right, takes three sips. Yeah. Cool. All right. Rorotak, thank you so much for sharing all of your experience and just thank you so much. That's using, helpful. yeah, Rosebud. It's really nice. Um, we'd love you to hang, you know, hang around here. Yeah. So we can, yeah, we will showcase other games, but then maybe in the end we can also just, yes, talk freely. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Jason. All right. Okay, so this is from Co-op King. This is Forrester. All right. We also showcased that before, but I think it's really good to remind everyone who is new right now. Yes. Oh, yes. It places uh, trees. Uh, oh. Basically, <laughs> desert reforestation program. Oh, nice. 
Yes. Enter VR. Yeah, that, that would be great. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Super cool. I like this. Oh, wait. Okay, so also the ground turns green eventually if there's enough. Turn. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's, yeah. Like wall. it's like a roll based thing. Ooh. Yeah. Um, reminds me of that townscaper game, you know? Like when you add enough elements, different things happen. It's like, oh, courtyard is generated if you have like four walls. Uh, right. Is it kind of like. Mm, that's really yeah. cool. Yeah, what was that system that they used for it? Like some. How, how did you implement this? Like the, the logic between what's green? It's like if there's enough trees in the perimeter, a stack yes, of trees. Yes, King is in the chat. Uh... That would be so cool if, like, you could like import your own uh, like graphics or like mm -hmm. your own models into it and make like GTA Six using this. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be actually crazy. I love like, it. If, if, <laughs> I'm be, like really good at like I, because I've seen this guy that's like really good at like um rendering stuff, and uh he was like remaking like GTA six trailers and stuff, and he, and he really wanted to get hired by uh the Rockstar company. Like he, he could literally import his graphics into that mm. and make like GTA six. Yeah, I've seen those videos. There. Yeah. Also, I accept your challenge. I will now be attempting to make Rent of Data 6 in Rosebud. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I love those kind of okay. challenges. I'm just I'm really really noticing here is the fluidity oh. of the, this, the, the movement in this is incredible. Yeah. Hey, Cop King, I have invited you to speak, but, you know, no pressure if you cannot right now. Mm -hmm. uh, just, yeah, a really cool game. Thank you for making that on Rosebud. All right. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, should we try next? Sure. So pretty. Cherry blossoms. Yes. Mm -hmm. Some of my favorite projects in here are the are the voxel ones. Those ones are huh. are definitely some of my favorite. Oh. I, I I can understand that. This one is like super cool. Ooh. Well, I mean, I did kind of grow up playing Minecraft, so. Mm -hmm. I guess oh, me too, me too. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people here <laughs> did. Yeah, I, I actually just got Minecraft. Like originally I had it on my old iPad because my brother got it, but uh, mm -hmm. there was like some restrictions on my uh, Microsoft mm -hmm. account. So it's oh, really yeah. lonely because I couldn't go online. And my mom, my mom could not fix it, but I finally got it on my uh, laptop, and it, I got it fixed. So yeah, it works now. I re I remember those Microsoft uh, the print. Yeah, family printing. restrictions. Yeah, like it, they got, were really annoying. I had to walk my dad through disabling them. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that's really interesting. Yeah, it was because like um my co my cousin was like, "Hey, you gonna play Minecraft with me?" I'm like, "I can't restrictions," and he had to come to my house and. Because you can only play on huh. the same Wi-Fi. It was just kind of depressing, but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. See, in my childhood, thought, we didn't yeah. even have this. Like, we had to do, my, like, the whole how much you think. Like, yeah, um, my, my parents used to think Roblox was, like, really bad. Because they're like, Roblox oh, it's scary. Really Pardon? Roblox is <laughs> No, no. Like, I mean, I mean, oh, no, I mean oh, they, no. they, it's not, like, creepy people and stuff. But, yeah, like... So, I, I remember... There so, are creepy um, uh, yeah, there, yeah, there are, are creepy people, people, but it's well, harder to find them. It's harder to find them. Yeah, but they yeah. still are. Pretty bad, though. Yeah. Roblox used to be a cesspool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, All right, guys, I'll have to, I'll have to, you know, just push us to see like this new game that we're trying to showcase. But, you know, feel free to stick around here. And we also have lounge right now. I'm really enjoying like your conversation here as well. Mm. So don't want to be like a party ruiner, but. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just quickly going through all of the games. Nice. All right. This one is a Cat Maiden name, game. I think all of the next ones are going to be character, um, like AI characters games. So maybe we can go uh, over them like quicker just to show everyone. Yeah. I don't know how loud this is. Okay. Mm. All right. This is by Shai. I don't know if you shouted them out already, Farida. I'll shout her out. 
Yes. Hey guys. So uh, could you ch uh, check out my game real quick? I did it right now. And, uh, Ooh, that would be cool. Oh, cool. Thank you. Shoot one. Oh no. Yes. Oh, Mikey shoot. Yeah, yeah. Mikey, Mikey oh. shoot. Mickey, Mickey. Mickey, Mickey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you did that during the stream, right? So. Yes. Yes. Cool. Okay. With the help of um, uh, Butter King Six Six Six. Oh, nice! Awesome. Oh, love the collaboration. The collaboration. Because you have to do it. Yeah, you need to shoot them. Oh, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Well, here you go, guys. Just you know, like one hour. You can get a game done. Mm. Get yourself yeah. a friend here as well <laughs> on Rosebud. Oh yeah, um, with, with, my, with my cookie clicker game, uh, like I, I did, didn't want to make it boring, so I added like a flying apple that flies by, and if you click it, you get like twenty points. But but the bot kept thinking if I if I click it, it should add it back again. So I had, it was really hard oh. to fix that. Where, where, like, it was supposed to, it was supposed to d disappear after clicking it. Mm -hmm. Oh, when it clicked it, it just it went teleported back up again. I'm like, <laughs> no, it was, it was physically impossible to fix it, but it finally fixed it. it Infinite so um, points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's super cool. Thanks, R9, for sharing this. That's really nice. It was crazy. You can, go, you can go from like just getting started to having a. A collab game project in like how long? Yeah, just yeah. like an hour. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. Time's, time goes fast here, though. All right, cool. Do we have a, a lot left? I think just a couple, right? Yes. Of I mean, characters. Yeah, I found that there are probably are more like older projects, but we want to show it. Yeah, show they it? are. Yes. I think we can just maybe show the usernames and just you know go through the slides. Yes. And that'll be it. Yeah, everyone who is in the audience right now, you don't have access to beta. Just go ahead and write a couple of things in the chat. Share with us, um, you know, your game dev interest and you'll get access right away. All right, cool. Uh, I think someone is not muted, so make sure that you're muted if you are oh, not sorry. speaking. My bad. Yeah, no, no, no worries. <laughs> Happens every time. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. This is by I'm a Smile. Oh, I remember this one. Yes, this one is a work in progress, I remember, but it's it's the beginning of, mm -hmm. a, of a kind of a clicker game where you get, get your points so you can upgrade to go to the shop. Nice. It has its own, I guess, aesthetic as well, like just super workshoppy game. Yes. <laughs> That's true. So we need 10 points. Oh. We upgrade our drops. Nice, yeah. Yeah, awesome. It's pretty cool. Cool. Yeah, let's check out the next ones. Sure. Okay, so we have this is the template RPG. I don't know. I believe we showed this before, but it's by Mark Three Three Hundred. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is a nice game that yeah you can build on definitely. Oh yeah. So you have to really have character implemented with walking animations, everything. We also have a swing. I forgot how to do. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to swing, but hey, we'll <laughs> these slimes yeah, chase you around. Yeah. Definitely started Valley vibes. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna be able to yeah kill the slime. <laughs> Upgrade my Wait, weapon. One. That's so cool. How do you actually make that walk? Because I've been trying to do that, like the walking animation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. You ask the AI to do it. <laughs> nice. Oh, you have to use a separate AI to do that. Uh, well, well, actually, not necessarily. What, no what do you need AI. to? You... All of this is AI generated. Like the walking, like the walking animation. Like I've been trying to do that. And the only way I've been doing that is just making it like smaller and bigger, smaller and bigger. So it looks yeah. like it's kind of walking or something. It's like a yeah. cheat. Yeah, that, that does work. Okay. Okay. That's smart. Okay, That's smart. Yes, this is a spreadsheet. Yeah. This is like AI yeah. too. 
Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much you get a sprite sheet externally, and then you basically upload it as an asset, and then tell the assist, tell the AI like how many frames there are. So it can then say, okay. Yeah. And then once you once it knows like what parts of the sprite sheet are for walking and what's for standing, and then it'll work. Basically, you just need to describe the sprite sheet to it or the frames of the animation to it. Yeah. I actually managed to make a walking animation. You're so Ooh, okay, sweet. Cool. Sprite by sprite mm -hmm. using oh AI art generation in, in Rosebud. Oh, oh nice. Really? Wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just right now to make walking one and walking two and I got lucky. That would be so cool. <laughs> it's like, it's like make a really cool uh -huh. system where it has like a random AI character in the middle. And it's just like, one of, my, one of my friends is actually doing this, but that'd be so cool if like, you see, have it have like this random character in the middle, and you can like spawn stuff around it, and it has to like learn about what the heck it is. It's like my friend, he's making this really cool system. I, it's really confusing, but he has a like a random AI in the middle, and it's it's like really confused, and it's just learning. And he was like spawning horses and stuff for like a house. It had spawned a family, and it was like taking care of the family and learning about it. It'd be really cool if you could actually try and make that. It'd probably be really hard. You should invite your friend here, definitely. Yeah, uh, sure. Maybe, yes. I don't know. I think he had to go, but yeah, he, he wasn't using Rosebud. He was, uh, he was, because he, he makes his own uh, AI models. Ooh. Hmm. And yeah, like originally uh, a while ago, so you know Suno? So he basically, uh, so since Bark is open source, a text-to-speech model, mm -hmm. he basically went on, on YouTube and uh took a bunch of songs removed the background music and it was just, so, so it's just the vocals like really high quality <laughs> vocals and trained it only on that and it takes like three hours to render one song and it sounds so realistic Ooh. like i should like yeah but he had to retrain it since uh the model was getting confused with its training data and thought hey i should just take this training data and yeah, it was just confused. It, it, it didn't know how to create stuff, so he had to retrain it. But he had to stop it since he was taking up too much uh, resources. People were really depressed because he had he had a whole entire like uh, demo paper and a whole entire Discord server for it. But it's it he just paused it, so it's not removed though. I mean that's cool. I mean we had um, I believe it was Bunny, but they created a visualizer project yeah. where yeah, I saw it. it's blowing up right now. Everywhere I go, I see it. Mm. Yeah. That's so cool. Yes. Like, like right now, it's like really confusing. But he was like, "Hey, I'm making a new model. You want to see it?" I'm like, "What?" Well, it's actually not. It's not a model. It's code. It's complete code. It's not a model. It's really confusing. But it's like a simulation. And it so it, like if he started out with an AI in the middle and he spawned a house, so he was like, "What's this? It's a house. Okay." And he was all alone, and the AI, the AI probably got lonely, so he spawned a uh, family or something. Mm. He had a family, and then he's like, oh, well, let's spawn a horse. So he spawned a horse, and he was taking care of the horse. And he gave it, like, plants and stuff, and yeah. This is super interesting. Yeah, Can you I'm share like, this with us? Yeah, after stream, it, please. Well, it's, it's not out. Free. Well, it's, he, 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 hasn't, oh. he, hasn't, he hasn't sent me anything yet. Like, I just uh. was explaining what's happening. And I think, yeah. he, I think he's just leaving it right now for tomorrow. But for now, he has a horse. That is real. <laughs> he has a horse. I know. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice. Oh, so, That's um, really cool. Oh, when, when it's done, I think it can. Make, I think it can make anything. So right now, so right now, it's like in the past. So he can't spawn any technology yet. So right now, right now, he's just in the wilderness, and the AI is like one years old. So it's, it's still learning. It's really Ooh. confused about what's going on. So it's it's kind of like tra it's kind of like training, but uh, a different version. It's it's kind of confusing. That, I think this is maybe this is confusing, but sounds really exciting. I know. Thanks. I'm like, I'm like, sure, calling me. Sure. I'm like, wait, what? I'm like, how how does it not have training? I'm confused. He's like, no. So it's basically like um, him be like, I want I want to sit down, and it spawns a uh, block or something to sit on. So and it learns from that, like, life. hey, I could sit on this. Yeah, it's a really weird like simulation thing. That is really, really cool. I I want to know more. As I know, I'm as like, as what is for... this? It's I so know. cool. Yeah, nice. he, um, yeah, he's like, right. yeah. 
yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Don't want to like super interrupt, but want to show like all of the games that we had in store. But then after that, again, like as I said, guys, yeah. like really enjoy you sharing a lot of stuff and just, yeah, just mm -hmm. talking, hanging out. All right, cool, Jason. Maybe like a, a quick like blast round through <laughs> the slides just without the games. And then we can wrap this up. And everyone who is right now in the audience, this is like your last chance. Go ahead and introduce yourself in chat. If you still don't have access to Rosebud, go ahead and do that and you'll get access right away. And after that, just feel free to hang out. We will have our mods here, our beta testers, and, you know, just continue the conversation and sharing all of the cool stuff that you've been working on. All right, Jason. All right, hold on. I think I have to go over to the channel for this. Hold on. Oh yeah, if we uh, if that's if that's what we have right now in the presentation, that's all right. Okay, sure. Yeah, I think sure. we already showed yeah all of the main basically things uh, that we wanted to show, all of the games, all of the other super early games. You can also take a look at in the game showcase channel. But thanks everyone for joining. Thanks everyone who has been. You know, able to comment a little bit on their games, Peter, Torello, and all of our mods, R9, Magic, uh, Bloopery, um, and Roar Attack, thanks for joining, and your mean grandma template. Um, yeah, super cool. Uh, We're... Well, quickly, we should also mention the um, Rosebud Lounge, right? That was started by one of our mods. Oh, yes. Like, if people wanted to, like, stick around and chat, like, that's, like, that's the perfect place to do it. And also, just, like, it's available all the time. So, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes, 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 sure. Like so, yeah, R9 inspired this idea to create the Rosebud Lounge. At the moment, all of the uh, beta testers will be able to speak there and, you know, share their ideas. And everyone else will be able to use chat. And also, users who have a role higher um, than Scout. Uh, well, scout and hire, they'll be able to stream. So they will be able to go ahead and stream their own games and how they are making games and share their knowledge. So yeah, um, I think after we shut shut down this uh, stage, you know, go ahead in the lounge and just, yeah, continue good conversation there. That's not a link to the lounge. It's just on the side, but maybe... We'll yeah, it doesn't link, <laughs> unfortunately, at least like from right now, like... Nothing. Yeah, if you can go to the side uh, sidebar under AI uh, text the game. The I just oh, dropped. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Nice. Everyone can see that in chat. Thanks, Lisha. No problem. All right. Thanks, everyone, for joining. Really enjoyed so having awesome. you here. Yeah. Yes. Thanks see you in love. two weeks. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good. Everyone who is just joining send your introduction in chat and Roberto will go ahead and um, grant you access right away. Cool. Yes. Bye bye everyone. Thank you so much. Bye guys. I'll be yeah. in, uh, in the lounge. All right. Nice. All right. Hey, bye everyone. Bye. Bye everyone.